Kwon responds to the wrapped Luna community. In this video today, we're going to discuss the tweets that came from Do Kwon, what other major exchanges are saying, including Coinbase and also KuCoin. We're going to go over what's actually happening with wrapped Luna. This is a huge community. It's affecting people that believe they're held Luna. And at the moment, they're being forgotten and don't seem to have a voice. So I want to raise awareness by letting everyone know what's going on and please don't let other people just get effectively just screwed out of money and just left because it's unfair and coinbase are completely ignoring this community and just hoping it all goes away so looking at what dogecoin is saying we were told by our counterparts at coinbase they don't plan to support the airdrop and suggest you take up with them so what he's saying about with that is people are thinking of if they held wrapped luna they should be entitled to an airdrop um obviously wrapped luna is an erc20 token and that means it's not actually luna um i can clarify that in a little bit more detail because it's based on the ethereum blockchain so it's there to represent the price of luna but it's actually not a luna token itself so coinbase doing an airdrop something completely different that means if people were holding any form of Luna on Coinbase, um, they should have got an airdrop, and I don't believe that was the case. So there's two issues there. Um, I don't think anyone's getting their Luna 2.0 on Coinbase, as they said they didn't support it, but no one's confirming or denying if Coinbase actually had this. So that in itself, they could have had a massive wedge of Luna and just never disclosed it. So I'm just sold it, that's uh, very Terra 2.0, just sold it and not done anything with it. Also, Coinbase are screwing over Rap Luna users as they're not allowing them to sell their assets. So this is a huge controversy. This has been going on and on and on. And it seems to just be getting worse, to be honest. So it's a, so another exchange, which is KuCoin, says it has no exposure to Rap Luna tokens, which is quite interesting. I don't understand how it's just Coinbase. I think Coinbase were the biggest holders of Rap Luna, and that's the reason that it happened to them. But what's going on with it is the crypto exchange KuCoin has denied having any exposure to the Luna token and aimed the chat at different companies' ecosystems. So that's quite interesting, to be fair. I don't know how they have so little exposure to it, but the rumours that KuCoin are in trouble are apparently not true. So Rap Luna or W Luna and its wallet address suffered losses as Luna price fell. And effectively, people weren't were shut out of it and weren't allowed to sell. But KuCoin is saying they, they weren't affected by it. I don't know if it, how many people actually hold any Rap Luna on KuCoin. I think most people just have it on Coinbase, so it's going to affect a lot more people that are Coinbase holders. Because people on Coinbase can't sell it at all. They've completely disabled that function and not honoured it at all. But most funds in KuCoin's wallet do not belong to KuCoin. And they do not belong to our users. And... Having Luna Classic wallet does not necessarily mean KuCoin as a company is holding lots of Luna C. Um, so it means that they're, they're, they're pretty much trying to say that they're not responsible for those wallets. They're not actually holding them. They're just allowing people to use the exchange facilities. So they're pretty much trying to step away from actually having any responsibility for it. Um, please drop a comment if you do. I'm getting screwed over by Coinbase. You do have Rap Luna. I haven't heard many stories. I think the main one is Coinbase, as you can see by what we go through here. So this was a bit of an older story of when it first happened and it actually never came back. So Coinbase plans to suspend trading on Rap Luna. Um, it suspended it and it never ever reinstated it. So Rap Luna was suspended at this point. Um, and the crazy thing is, is, if we go into it, the actual price, it's still trading. It has some form of volume, not very high volume, but it does have some form of volume. I assume that's not coming from Coinbase at all. Maybe some other exchanges that do have it. And it is still matching the price like it's meant to be. It is, but obviously it's on the Ethereum blockchain. So I don't think, I think everyone's just going to ignore it. Unless there's a massive lawsuit or something like that. That's the only way I could maybe see something happening with it. But no, no one should be entitled to an airdrop though. Just because they hold it. But Please spread the word. If you've got any questions or want to know anything about it, but usually it's just big exchanges effectively just trying to capitalize on the small guy. So they probably got a massive airdrop worth of Luna and then 
Terrence 2.0, sorry, and then they've been able to sell it, hold it, do whatever they want with it, and also not allow people to liquidate their Luna Classic, because I don't think they have enough funds to actually make people hold on that one. So that's the main issue with it, and they don't want to pay people out of their contract, so that's the main thing. Um, Binance are holding massive amounts of Luna Classic, so I wanted to give you an update on that, and they're burning all the time, so it's positive on that respect. And in terms of the burn, and also if Binance start implementing this burn, the actual price of Rap Luna is going to go up massively as it mirrors the actual holding price of Terra Luna Classic. So this could obviously reunite a new case because the more it's worth, the more of a use case to actually, in terms of going down a legal route, is more feasible. But that was my update on that. This community is not forgotten. Please let me know your stories down below and share this to as many people because we need to get this message out, out there. Follow my TikTok and Twitter. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.